Do you think the DSM-5 updated criteria helped or hurt autistic people? I understand the arguments from both sides, but I want personal accounts. If you're unfamiliar, in 2013, the DSM-5 came out, which changed the diagnostic criteria for autism, and Asperger's has become level one autism without accompanying language impairment. This is the kind of autism I have. For public policy, insurance, and advocacy reasons, I completely understand bringing the conditions together, but I think it also has the potential to make research for autism messier, especially if there are differences in those groups that we don't know about yet. Autism is already heterogeneous, which means it presents in a lot of different ways. So adding Asperger's in the mix might make that even harder and will likely affect group results. I also get that Hans Asperger was a Nazi, but him being a Nazi seems like a reason to change the name, not necessarily combine the diagnoses. But then we get to the issue of where that line is drawn between autism and whatever you want to call Asperger's. The original understanding was that those with Asperger's had no clinically significant language delay by age three, but that's kind of ar arbitrary because what counts as a delay? There are typically developing children who are delayed but end up fine, but also standards of delay may vary by pediatrician, culture, or even country. So two kids could present similarly at age five, but have completely different labels based on whether they said their first word at 15 months or 20 months. That seems a bit arbitrary. So I'm opening up the discussion to you commenters. Which side do you agree with? Personally, I think I'm for the combination, but I think we need better subcategories than just level one, two, and three. And the only way we're going to get to that is by researching what's at the root of autism, which I personally think is a difference in white matter development. 